So, I mean, just ironically, uh, I was uh, stationed at Annapolis in the early seven, mid 70s when women were first admitted to the service academies. I actually was on the admissions board. So I've been involved in uh, uh, the integration of women in the Navy since 1975, 1976. I'm a big advocate. I learned a long time ago that, that the more diverse your, your team is, the better the outcomes are uh, across uh, both gender uh, as well as uh, ethnic backgrounds, etc. So I've always been excited by the opportunities I've, uh, that have been created for women. Um, we have, in my particular branch of the Navy, since the late, so I'm sorry, since the early 90s, basically, it's been open to women. Um, but the women that came into the Naval Academy in the mid-70s and the women that came in actually as recently as a few years ago, they're still pioneers because one of the things you can't do in the military is you can't laterally bring people in. You have to, you have to start you know, as, at the bottom and, and we do that every single year. So I've grown to greatly appreciate the women who have been pioneers in blaze trails and that's going to continue to need to be out there. I think having a different view at the table is, this strengthens a commander's uh, decision space and, uh, and it strengthens the team. There's a lot of discussion about uh, uh, standards and I'm, I'm right there. I think it, it, you know if a woman can uh, meet the standards in any of the uh, in any of the uh, warfare areas including SEALs or Delta Force or Special Forces which uh, that sort of seems to be the furthest one out there uh, then more power to them. Uh, we're not going to lower the standards nor should we um, uh, there was a time in the 70s when the women who came into Annapolis couldn't do uh, a handful of pull-ups or a handful of push-ups, which was the, were the physical attributes at the time. And I can remember uh, 10 or 15 years later watching a young lady uh, you know, do, a, do a lot more push-ups than I could do. Uh, obviously times continue to change. Uh, and I think there will be women that will be able to meet these standards and, and more power to them. And I think we're all better off as an organization uh, in that regard.